Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Today we're going to show you a next volume 6 of the curry chicken recipe. It's amazing to do curry chicken with plain rice. It's beautiful, really nice. And we're not to put up curry chicken. Huh? We're not going to put up curry chicken. Anyway, today, curry chicken served with plain rice. Enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. We got a lot more recipe for you guys. Inspired recipe, in recipe with the, you know what I mean? You know. Get a copy of my cooking book is on Amazon and the moment is your price, the price won't change. Thank you so much for watching the cooking program. Bye-bye. Right here I have two kilos of curry chicken. Really nice and beautiful. Right over here, I'm gonna tell you the kind of season which I'm using, guys. The season is very important. That's you guys can make your curry chicken at home. Don't 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 worry yourself. You can also use your seasoning where you know I'm gonna use to make your curry chicken at home. Basically, today I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I'm using some curry right here, chicken season, all-purpose season, and some some dry thyme. Right over here, I have some curry and that, and curry in the season with some garlic. Right here, I have some grounded pimento seed, and this is some chicken spices. But basically, everything here is just a spoon of bits. This one right here is the bad boy. The bad boy is the lemon, our lime, our vinegar. You can use to wash your chicken. Right here, I have some spring onion, garlic, and thyme. These are the first season which we're gonna use right here too in the curry chicken. So basically, right here we're gonna go into some serious business with this beautiful curry chicken. And as I say, all of them is just a spoon, one tablespoon of season right here. And if you see what I'm doing right here at the moment, I'm just scraping right over my chicken inside of the bowl. I'm gonna pop a little bit of vegetable oil or olive oil inside of chicken but as you can see exactly what I'm talking about now we're gonna put on this natural seasoning inside of it but before we put up all these one we let's cut up our season first nice one so now right there you can see let's put on the white onion guys if you're at home and you're making your curry chicken please use a lot of natural seasoning because what's up in the natural season do give it a nice lovely flavor and a nice lovely taste and that exactly what you're looking for is all about the natural seasoning so as you can see exactly what i'm doing and now i'm gonna simply pop some thyme and it just like that beautiful also i got some spring onion and i'm gonna put some spring onion on it also because these make this chicken have a different taste and a different flavor when you're cooking it. Basically, when you cook your curry chicken, you can put it down for two or three hours for it to get soaked. I'm gonna put on some garlic, and that's the garlic, and hopefully you guys will love it. So, right here, look now, I'm just gonna pop some vegetable oil, that's a tablespoon of vegetable oil on it. Then, basically what I simply say to you guys, make sure you do got gloves, before you do anything to marinate your curry chicken like this so as you can see exactly what i'm doing right here looking so lovely and nice ah oh, man you can see me that beautiful scent already in the kitchen is the scent of the curry it is just amazing it is amazing it is amazing and this one is the part six of the curry chicken we're gonna come up with part seven part eight part nine Part 10, <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of curry chicken. So, this is finished. Now I'm gonna put down this for about roughly two hours for it to soak, and then we're gonna cook it after. Pop it into a small bag or a small container, put it in your fridge, or Klim Flimit, put it in your fridge, and make it soak for two hours. So guys, enjoy the recipe, and remember, we're gonna cook it as two hours come. Enjoy the recipe. Thank you so much. Nice, I love this. So right here is two hours now since I have my curry chicken soaking. Basically, I have a medium-sized friend pan on the stove. Um, I'm gonna simply pop a teaspoon of vegetable oil. Just a teaspoon, you don't need too much because you don't want to put too much oil inside of the pot. So right here, guys, as I can see, one teaspoon of vegetable oil. Next thing what you can do, I just cut up some more fresh thyme and some garlic and some spring onion, pop it straight inside of it. That is. So I'll take this out for about a second. So after you 
so take that off guys I'm telling you this is where it come in really nice and beautiful the scent of lawn and the garlic and the thyme everything which is inside of it look what's gonna happen now when you're putting your curry chicken inside of it you're gonna just bring in a that lovely flavor and that lovely taste which I know you guys are gonna like it so we're gonna pop in the curry chicken which is so marinated two hours ago nice one So as you can see, that's the curry chicken inside of the pot. Basically, cover it and leave it for about 10 minutes until it gets sweet. When it gets sweet, what you normally gonna do now, we're gonna put in some more seasoning inside of it. And soon as it's sweat up and it kind of a little bit like it getting soft, getting cooking, just keep stirring it. And we're gonna put some potato and some carrot inside of it and marry it and season up some more and give it a little bit more taste towards it. So I know you guys are gonna love it, but that's Oh, you start to nice, lovely curry chicken. After you marinate the curry chicken for two hours, then you're gonna cook it. As you can see, look at it, beautiful, really nice. So you're gonna be sweating at the moment. Enjoy the recipe, guys. Nice and lovely. So now I'm gonna give it a stir. Mmm, this is beautiful, man. I'm telling you, you can smell the scent. Just give it a stir and now I'm gonna cover it back and give it another 10 more minutes. It never 10 minutes before, probably about 8 7 minutes, but lovely and nice. Hop As you see, this is the way the curry chicken look when it's sweat. And basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some carrot inside of it. I'm using three carrots, medium size, and two potato, medium size. Cut up very, very small. I add a little bit more extra white onion just to give it a little bit more flavor and taste. As you can see, looking lovely in the pot already, guys. So what we're gonna do now, yeah? We're gonna taste it, see if we want anything else. Mm, that's nice. But the only problem is I might add a little bit of water to it. Not too much, just a little bit of water. Roughly half cups of water. And I don't need to put any seasoning or anything else inside of it. This is pretty good. Basically, turn on your stove on a medium size heat. Not a high, not a high heat. Medium size heat you need for this guys. And cover your pot and leave it for it to cook and sweat. Until you see the carrot and the potato cook, then you know your chicken ready. Enjoy the recipe, leave your comments. Part 6 of the curry chicken from Chef Ricardo today. Bye bye. Nice and lovely. So, right here, guys, as you can see, this is finished. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share it out now. Make you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So, when you see I had that water and that veg, allow it for it to cook down and turn it into a lovely gravy like this one right here, guys. I wanna say it's just really fantastic, beautiful and nice. And hopefully you like the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I didn't have anything else to eat, just that. So now I'm gonna just simply share it out with some plain rice. And it's a Jamaican part six of the curry chicken recipe again. Enjoy, thank you so much, bye bye. Nice and lovely. So right here guys, as you can see, I start to share out the curry chicken and the rice already. But I have a little bit of mixed veg which I wanna put on the side, just like this. Some broccoli and carrot and sweet corn. This is beautiful, guys. Hopefully, you will love the recipe. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching the cooking program. The only reason why I like to put veg on my plate. You know why? Veg do balance mm -hmm. your, your, your diet. And it's good for you. And it's really healthy. So basically, as you can see, that exactly what I'm talking about. Part 6 of the curry chicken. Hopefully, you will love the recipe. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. And thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. We've got a lot more recipe like this coming out. And this is part six of the curry chicken. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye.